Sharon Vosmick and I'm the CEO of Astia. Astia is the premier organization globally for women-led high growth companies. And we're very excited to be a global organization. We've been 10 years here in Silicon Valley. We are now in New York, London, and Bangalore. At Astia, our intentional network was built with some fundamental assumptions in place. Number one, that men and women network differently. And Patty Fletcher, who's at SAP, a recent PhD, wrote her dissertation taking a look at how women actually use relationships rather than networks. ASTI is built on that understanding. We're not a networking organization. We're a broad network that, to, that serves our entrepreneurs and in a very focused and deliberate way. Astia is a rich ecosystem. It's the been there, done that folks within the high growth economy that are entrepreneurs, investors, value add service providers, all of those individuals. A company comes to Astia predominantly through that ecosystem. We are primarily a referral business, um, and that's true to the model broadly. If you ask VCs and angels how they find their deals, it's through the ecosystem. Because Astia is a rich, rich ecosystem, we actually can work with the companies in many different ways. And we focus on three core elements for every business. Number one is access to capital, and it's really what every investor and every company comes to us with. But equally, we care about the high growth that that capital is going to require. The third thing we invest in, really believe in, is investing in the executive leadership on the, of the women on the founding team. And this is because we need to carve out a personal, professional success trajectory for those individuals above and beyond the business success. Because serial entrepreneurs make good entrepreneurs, and we want to keep women in the game regardless of if the business fails or succeeds. 2010 is an exciting year for Astia. We are currently in four markets, but the real opportunity is connecting those markets. Some great new research by Anu Badwaj, a Fulbright scholar, shows that where women succeeded in Europe and in India in high growth enterprises, they had access to a global network. Astia wants to be that global platform that allows the entrepreneur to break local social norms. That's 2010 for Astia. We're very excited to be providing thought leadership around that. We'll be having a summit in June where we're collaborating with over 20 organizations, including Women 2.0 and Ladies Who Launch and Girls in Tech and a whole plethora of organizations that really believe in and value women's opportunity to participate in all components of the economic spectrum, not just micro-enterprise and small business.